What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and I apologize once again. My setup is completely different guys. I am moving and I don't have my tripod on me because I put it in storage So, because I thought I was going to be moving sooner. So I thought I was going to be able to get my setup going. So you're not going to see the background, you're not going to see the... The, the tripod so is going to be a little shaky. The mic, the mic quality is going to be as good because I don't have you know my mic either. I'm not going to edit nothing. It's going to be completely raw. No background music. Completely raw. So all that being said, please bear with me, guys. Next week, it should be back to normal. Okay, guys, in my new house, it should be back to normal. I promise you. But bear with me for right now. We're going to discuss why we should not fire Coach Pat Shermer. And I'm going to get into this right now. Here's the thing. If we fire Pat Shermer, and this is the thing with Giants fans, because I laugh, I laugh because not in mockery of Giants fans, not at all, but just the fact that we're so spoiled as Giants fans. We already are so accustomed to a winning culture that if we don't get a 10 and 6, at least a 9 and 7 record or 10 and 6 record, Within a year of us doing bad, we're like pissed, you know, we're rebuilding right now. We thought we we're going to have a way better record because of our team on paper. And we're just pissed because we're so used to to the winning culture. And what do you need with a winning culture? What what are signs of a winning franchise? Signs of a winning franchise is having how many head coaches? I, you guys have to put in the I, I forgot how many head coaches that the Giants went through, but it's not a lot. I'll put the, I mean, I, I can't remember the correct number. It's in the teens, I believe, right? But the Giants haven't had many head coaches. Why is that? Because we're always winning and, and things like that. Even, even when times are tough, we still stick with our guys. We still stick with our players. We still stick to our coaching staff. I think it's silly to say to fire Coach Shermer within one year of rebuilding. If you guys didn't know, we are rebuilding. What has what has Dave Gettleman done with this team? He's stripped it down. He even changed our defensive scheme from 4-3 to 3-4. We're, st we're switching our whole scheme around. The only thing we're keeping around is the West Coast offense, and it's different from the West Coast offense that we ran with uh, Ben McAdoo and things like that. Ben McAdoo was more of... Um, he tried to run the ball. I mean, he tried to, but Pat Shermer is more of a, a passing guy. As much as everybody says that Pat Shermer is more of a running guy, he's not. He just had, you know, Adrian Peterson to work with and things like that. Now, I don't think last year he did, but year before that, he, you know, he had those guys to work with. And now he has Saquon. He doesn't know how to use him. But anyway, we can't, we can't fire Pat Shermer because we're going to create a losing culture. We can't do that. We can't have the Giants fans get used to that. We can't have Dave Gettleman be okay with recycling coaching staff, hoping to get a winning record after, uh, out of them in one year. Listen to what I'm saying, guys. We cannot, you guys should not be excited about firing Pat Shermer at the end of this season. We're going to create a losing culture. We're going to fire Pat Shermer, hire another guy, hope we get a winning season out of him. If we're not even close, we're going to fire him, and we'll never have room to grow with the guys. You have to give the time. You have to give our guys time to gel together. Remember, this is a whole different roster, guys. Look at the roster from last year and look at the roster from this year. It's completely different. Besides some key guys... It's completely different. You know, we got rid of Eric Flowers. We got rid of Eli Apple. We got rid of Damon Snacks Harrison. We got rid of Darian Thompson, Andrew Adams, uh, a lot of other guys. You know, it, just everybody's gone. We, we're building a new team. It's going to take some time. Let's bring the offensive line into the example. The offensive line, yes, has been allowing a few sacks here and there. But look how look how Eli, Eli's moving more in the pocket in the past five weeks than I've seen in the past three years. Why? He's trusting more. He knows what they're doing. They're gelling together. The offensive line is gelling together. Um, they've been playing so much more better. Think of the offensive line as the whole team. They have to work together. The offensive line cannot, you can't be a good offensive lineman if you're not helping the guy next to you. You know, Will Hernandez is, isn't, you know, any better than Nate Solder because they're working together. Nate Solder's great and all, but he he's only as good as the guy next to him. So, you know, when they gel together, you're going to see a different offensive line. Think of that as the whole entire New York Giants team. When they gel together, you're going to see a whole different team. The secondary is going to play in sync. The linebackers are going to play in sync. The defensive line is going to play in sync. Yes, we don't have 
very good. We don't have a lot of sacks. Why? Our defensive line is completely different. Dalvin Thomas Tomlinson is a second year man. BJ Hill's a rookie. Kareem Martin it got signed this year. You know, our whole defensive line is different. Olivier Vern is playing like crap, so he's never on you know, he's he's not doing anything anyway. But we have to gel together, guys, and you're seeing that slowly but surely. We're scoring points, we're putting up numbers, we're winning games. We have to gel together, and that starts with Coach Pat Shermer. He is the mastermind, believe it or not, he is the mastermind in this whole entire organization right now as far as you know the whole personnel goes, as far as everything everything goes. He's the head coach. If you break down the head coach, you're going to separate everybody in the locker room. As far as I know, the teammates love Pat Shermer. They defend him. They do whatever they have. They don't talk bad about him. Um, you know, Odell, you know, Odell, you know, with all his frustration still goes to Pat Shermer. You guys see him on the sidelines, still goes to Pat Shermer to calm down. So they like Pat Shermer. He is a coach. He is a good locker room guy. Yes, that is not the best quality to be in having a co- in, in a head coach. It's not the best quality. You know, Bill Belichick is not in the locker room, you know, popping champagne with his guys, right? You know, he's in his office saying, you know, just do your job. But they respect him for it. Pat Shermer's a different guy. He's gonna win these guys with with, with respect, and he's he 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 bonds with these guys, and that's one step closer to building a winning franchise. Just let these guys trust Pat Shermer. Let them gel together, and they will play better. I guarantee you. If you guys you regret Pat Shermer, you guys shouldn't regret Pat Shermer. Steve Wilkes was with this close to being hired by the Giants. Look what he's doing with Arizona right now. Arizona, it doesn't know if they want to rebuild or not. Like they, It doesn't look like they're rebuilding. They haven't done much of anything in rebuilding. They just have trash players. It doesn't look like they're doing much. Steve Wilkes is not doing a very good job in Arizona. Josh McDaniels decided to stay after not taking the New York Giants job. Decided to stay in New England. Wait for Bill Belichick to retire and become the head coach there. You look at Mike Vrabel, who came out of nowhere. Good thing God he wasn't our head coach, because you know I don't think he would have done well with us. But he's Tennessee with Tennessee right now. I think Tennessee hasn't reached their expectations yet, and they're not a re- they're not rebuilding. They're trying to make a playoff run, but they don't know if they want to be good or not. You look at Matt Patricia, another guy that was considered for the New York Giants co- uh, job that was this close to being hired, except when he was hired to the Detroit Lions. You know, Detroit Lions are regressing. They should have been. Pro- progressing, they're regressing. The only decent win they had was against the New England Patriots, and that was because Matt per- Patricia knows that team. So they beat them 26 to 10. So that's the only reason why they beat them. So you look at all these other guys; they're struggling too, and they're in a worse spot than we are. I think the Giants can really get something going next year. I'm seeing a lot of potential. We just need to clean up some key mistakes that everybody. It's obvious. Everybody knows we need to run the ball. Everybody knows we need to protect Eli uh, better. Everybody knows we need to um, keep keep defense going. Like we need to keep playing on defense. Our defense needs needs to not get a gas out. So we need to win the time of possession on offense. It's key mistakes that everybody knows. You know, key things. You know, rebuilding mistakes. We'll fix that. They they will fix that, guys. So just keep that in mind, guys. I just want you to keep that in mind. Pat Shermer. Firing Pat Shermer is not the answer. It's not because we're gonna bring another, another guy in. We're gonna expect him to 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 build a winning franchise, and it's not gonna happen, guys. I think Pat Shermer can take us to the promised land eventually, guys. I think he can. I I, I respect everybody else's opinion, and I hope you respect mine. But I don't. I'm not gonna give up on Pat Shermer yet. That's like saying Davis Webb. We're just throwing a, throwing away Davis Webb and hiring. Kyle Oletta, and we're about to what? We're about to get rid of Kyle Oletta again and get another quarterback and Justin Herbert. What if he doesn't do well? You know, we we can't have a quarterback carousel. We can't have a head coach carousel. So with all that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. How do you? What do you guys think about the rest of the season? Do you guys think we should fire Pat Shermer? Do you guys think we should keep going with him and for how long? I think I'll give him another two years. I'll give him another two years if. If in two years, two more seasons, so after this season, two more seasons, so until 20, at the end of the 2020 season, if Pat Shermer has not at least taken to this this team to a playoff run or a winning record in two years, I'd say it is time to let him go. I, I always want to give a coach three years to do what they have to do. Yes, rebuilding may take longer, but you could get a fluke season. I'd, I'd rather take a fluke season than just going 6-10 and 10 for a couple years and then building. I'd take a fluke season just to see what we can do and then start winning. So, all that being said, guys, Pat Shermer... 
cannot be fired. It will be a huge mistake and it will definitely lead us on the decline farther than we're on the decline that we are right now. We're rising very slowly. The train's moving very slowly, but it's moving. So if you guys like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Remember to ring that notification bell so you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.